How much money do you really need to be financially independent? The median household income for the United States is around $68,000, so this number would make a comfortable middle class income for the average person. So if this was your goal number to reach financial independence, you would need $1,360,000 to $2,720,000 invested with a 2.5% to 5% annual return. Now, this number may seem like a relief to you, or it may still seem overwhelming. If it still seems overwhelming, here are the top five simple actions you can take to make the journey even easier. Number five, pay off credit cards in full. Paying off your credit cards in full every month keeps you from paying interest on your purchases. It also helps you to build up a good credit score, which can save you money in the long run. And last but not least, it keeps you from getting into debt. So if you're serious about financial independence, make sure you pay off your credit cards in full every month. It's one of the smartest things you can do. Number four, start investing now. The sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Compounding is one of the most powerful forces in investing. Compounding is when you earn money on your investments and then you reinvest that money and earn even more money on your reinvested earnings. The longer you allow your money to compound, the more money you will make. That's why it's so important to start investing as early as possible. Number three, live below your means. Living below your means doesn't mean you have to live like a monk, but it does mean being mindful of your spending and making choices that align with your financial goals. It's about separating your needs from your wants. When you live below your means, you're automatically putting yourself on the path to financial independence because you're not wasting money on things you don't need. Number two, maintain what you already own. Maintenance may not be as exciting as buying something new, but it's a fraction of the cost of replacement. So if you want to save money and achieve financial independence, it's important to take care of the things you already own. That means keeping your clothes in good condition, regularly servicing your car, and properly maintaining your lawnmower and microwave. In the short term, it may not be as fun as buying something new, but in the long term, you'll be glad you took the time to take care of the things you already have. Before I move on to number one, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next money-making video. Number one, make a monthly budget and stick to it. Creating a budget may seem like a daunting task, but it's actually easier than you might think. The first step is to track your spending for a month so that you have a clear picture of where your money is going. Then you can start setting limits on how much you're willing to spend in each category. Once you have a budget in place, the key is to stick to it. This requires both willpower and discipline. However, if you're able to stick to your budget, you'll find that you're quickly on your way to financial independence. Click the video on the screen to see another money-making video.